Ladies and gentlemen, Graduation Day is always a day of rejoicing, for it marks the conclusion of another educational journey and the commencement of another more uncertain and more difficult part of man's quest for a better life and future. Welcome to Yunor de la Rama Elementary School 27 Closing Exercises and its first ever virtual graduation with the theme Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Before we begin, may I request those who are able to please stand for the singing of our national anthem and remain standing as Rochelle Maine Mones with honors will give the homage to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we celebrate this momentous event, our graduation day, we the graduates of Batch 2021 humbly ask your blessing upon us, forging the significant point in our life. We thank you, God, for our loving and supportive parents and dedicated teacher who work hand in hand to enable us to attain the pinnacle of success. Our elementary year yet get away to a new one, which is the high school year. All this blessing we're about to receive today become all possible because of you. Thank you, God, for the year in which you have been so good and faithful to us and even favor us this time of pandemic. We pray that you continue as blessing a healthy body and mind. Heavenly Father, empower, equip, and make us confident to fulfill our dreams and aspiration in life. May your years ahead bring us promises, fulfillment, and victories. May your joy, love, and peace be with us always and constant companion whenever we go. Direct our path every day and help us create our best tomorrow. Thank you, Father, for all the promise of the bright tomorrow. All this we pray to the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our source, our provider, and healer. Amen. To give her words of welcome in this virtual graduation, let's listen to Sophia Grace Bicetera with honors to give her welcome address. Schools Division Superintendent Mr. Alan Villa to our schools PSBS District 2A Ma'am Beverly Camilla to our schools Head Ma'am Lourdes G. Ubas to our 
guest speaker, Mr. Jose Marie Gontosilao, teachers, guests, parents, and to my fellow graduates, good afternoon. It is my great honor to welcome each and every one of you in this most awaited moment of the grade 6 students. Today is a day that we witness the commemoration of the Lord Lerama Elementary School first ever virtual graduation ceremony. I know that all of us are so excited, but, despite, but because of this pandemic, we're not able to graduate and to face to face now. But despite of it all, our teachers and all of us made another way to have this graduation day. Today is a special day that we proven to ourselves that our hard work in facing this new type of journey is led to success. Yet, we're able to do our best and to graduate. Yet, the effort of our teachers, parents, and to all whom that supported us will be not put in vain. And we are so very thankful to the all who had supported us. Once again, I welcome all of you to this first ever graduation. And congratulations to my fellow graduates. Let us pursue our passions and be creative in life. God bless and keep safe. Thank you. Thank you, Sophia, for that warm welcome. Please watch as we present our graduates in this inspiring welcome song entitled, Today My Life Begins by Bruno Mars.
After all the efforts of our stakeholders, school head, teachers, parents, and pupils, the time has come for us to witness the fruits of their labors and the goodness of our Heavenly Father to all students who completed and finished their academic requirements. Now, we will come to the presentation of the candidates for graduation by Ma'am Shelemeng S. Pisales, Grade 6 Class Advisor, to be accepted by Ma'am Lourdes G. Ubas, School Head 3 of Yunor de la Rama Elementary School, to be approved by Dr. Marika Beverly V. Gamilia, Public Schools District Supervisor, District 2A, and to be confirmed by Dr. Alan B. Yap, Sesify, Schools Division Superintendent, represented by Dr. Maria Lourdes V. Tudoro, Chief Education Supervisor of the Curriculum Implementation Division as the duly authorized representative of the School Division Superintendent, Division of Bago City. issued by the class advisor with acceptance by the school head Lourdes G. Ogas and duly approved by the public school's district supervisor Marika Beverly P. Gamilia, PhD and by the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent 
Dr. Alan B. Yap, Sensor 5, Ubaga City Division, I, Mario Lourdes B. Chudoro, Chief Education Supervisor of Curriculum Implementation Division, as a duly authorized representative of the Division of Ubaga City, do hereby confirm the graduation of 21 boys and 21 girls with a total number of 42 pupils of Lunor de la Rama Elementary School who have satisfactorily completed the academic requirements of the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education, Bureau of Elementary Education, Division of Bago City for school year 2020-2021. So I therefore declare you as graduates of your tassels and as I count, transfer it from left to right. One, two, three. Congratulations! And now you can enjoy the rights and privileges of a new elementary school graduate. Once again, my heartfelt congratulations. And now, let us witness the virtual distribution of certificates to our graduates. But first, let me read to you the content of this certificate. It reads, Republic of the Philippines, Department of Education, Region 6, Division of Bago City, District 2, Yonor de la Rama Elementary School. This certifies that Ravi A. Alamo, Learner Reference Number 1175081400007, has satisfactorily completed the requirements of the elementary curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education and is therefore awarded this certificate signed in Bago City, Philippines on the 14th day of July 2021. Signed, Lourdes G. Ubas, Head Teacher 3. Signed, Marika Beverly V. Gamilia, PhD, Public Schools District Supervisor. Signed, Alan B. Yap, PhD, CESA 5, Schools Division Superintendent. Alamo, Ravi A. Argoncillo, Joel L. Barcibal, Francis V. Bugna, Arnold a. Sirenio, Rain M. Condes, Tommy Jr. S. Dong Dong. Roy Chris S. Guasina Jomar D. Hogado CJ C. Lapinon, Duke Dane M. With honors. Lomio, John Everson P. Magbanwa, Chris Lawrence S. Pondales, Andrew E. Rosme, Maro S.
Rosne, Noel Jr. S. Sablon, Nico J. Salmorin, Noe P. Sikatin, Jaleo A. Sumbilia, Christian S. Totalin, Mark G. Vinco, Ivan D. Abapo, Angela V. Batislaon, Joan L. Bernardino, Lovely Jane A. Brito, Mary Angel A. Sitera, Sophia Grace B. With honor. David, Charmaine Grace O. Junisio, Laita Marie G. Gopiteo, Rutzel Ann M. With honors. Juarez, Jasmine P. Lariosa, Asel May B. Maravilla, Hannah Rose S. Mones, Richelle May P. With honors. Patribo, Ricey Gale B. Pausal, Eliza May N. Perez, Ella A. Santo, Shana May M. Sigeza, Ladilin May A. Sitera, Mary Joy B. Sonio, Rhea A. Totalin, Angel M. Tupas, Wina Marie I. Congratulations to all graduates of Batch 2021. At this juncture, let us hear the message from our Department of Education Secretary, Secretary Yunor Magtolis Briones, to be followed by our Regional Director, Dr. Ramir B. Oitico, and also to be followed 
by our PSDS District 2A, Dr. Marika Beverly V. Gamilia. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. And so thank you teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations teachers for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers by our school officials but also 
by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of um, hard work at this time uh, even as you have to do family chores even as you are distracted and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and 
the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the regulation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survive and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be opened because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science, in technology, in mathematics, and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity. The door which will help you know more about this world. And the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country. And contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Siliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready 
for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so, we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, dear graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. You make us a look at the future with anticipation and pride. You have once again proven that true champions can thrive in the midst of the challenging realities of life. Your sheer grit and resilience have brought you this far in your lifelong pursuit of quality education. Your achievements call for a celebration. You have risen above the worst of times and have responded to the overwhelming demands of the new normal with Alan. Your education must not only be reflected in your report cards, but must be manifested in how you masterfully deal with life. An embodiment of courage, compassion, character, and competence. As you relish this moment, Remember to celebrate your success with our indefatigable advocates and champions of quality education. Teachers, parents, school administrators, education leaders, stakeholders, and friends, among others. Your success seals our triumph over trials. It propels our collective aspiration for a brighter future despite the limitations caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. This is just the beginning of a beautiful journey ahead. We firmly believe in your potential for success because in Deped Region 6, every child is a champion. As you cross this time of immense challenges and great opportunities, keep your passion for greatness alive. May your achievements inspire everyone to move forward with a renewed sense of hope, meaning, and purpose. Together, we shall rise as one. Ipadayon ta ang pagpalanggaanay. Once again, congratulations and mabuhay! And now, let us listen to the message of our school's division superintendent, Alan B. Yap, Ph.D., CESO 5. Greetings and congratulations for an inspiring and fruitful academic journey of all graduating students of Bago City Division. You will be part of the conduct of the end of the school year rites in its virtual graduation ceremony with the theme, Kalidad na Edukasyon, Lalong Patatagin sa Gitna ng Pandemya. Amidst all the challenges, Bagunun students' rights to inclusive and quality education and safety from the health risk of COVID-19 pandemic must be given topmost priority. Dear learners, this special occasion is for you and your parents, teachers, and stakeholders for these are important milestones of your educational quest and achievements. You have successfully made this journey in a time filled with challenges and uncertainties. May this occasion inspire you to study harder for the next stages of your academic life, for the fulfillment of your dreams and aspirations. Life may constantly offer you challenges. Take heart. Only a persevering heart wins the race as what the rabbit learned. From the turtle, a story from your elementary book. I salute the parents, teachers,
school and division leaders, the silent unsung heroes for molding the minds of our Bagunghon youth and producing among these learners the much-needed knowledge and competencies under the K-12 basic education program. Ours may be long and the prescribed duties may be exhausting, but shaping the future of these young minds will definitely improve their lives. As you leave the portal of your alma mater, bring with you these nuggets of wisdom. Be kind, be humble, and be courageous. Become the best version of yourself, be, and step into the future with confidence that you can make it better than the past. Go forth, bagong home. Be brave, be proud, be true. Congratulations, Batch 2020-2021. Today marks a significant occasion, your graduation ceremony. Your determination and diligence brought you up to this level and you are now reaping the fruits of your hard-earned endeavor. Be grateful to your teachers who taught you to be prepared for the next phase of your student life. Your parents' infinite support paved the way in what you have accomplished today. To everyone, well done and kudos! The moment has arrived for us to listen to an inspirational speech from our guest speaker. But before we proceed, may we listen on Ma'am Rogini Del Sol to introduce our guest speaker. Division Superintendent Dr. Alan Villa, our Assistant Schools Division Superintendent Dr. Ernie V. Miranda, our CID Chief, Dr. Lourdes V. Tidoro, our District 2 PSDS Dr. Marika Beverly Gamilia, our School Head, Mag Lourdes G. Ubas, my co teachers, to the parents, graduates, and everyone who is watching us today, a pleasant afternoon. As a faculty of the Nor de la Rama Elementary School, it is a great pleasure for me to introduce our guest speaker for today, who is going to talk to us about his experiences and motivations in achieving his dreams. This is important to us, especially to our graduates, because this will give you courage and inspiration in reaching your goals in life. I am proud to say that our speaker is a graduate of our school in which he graduated as valedictorian of Batch 2005. He went to Ramon Torres National High School and finished his secondary education in 2009. He got his bachelor's degree in marine engineering at John B. Laxon Cottages Foundation, Bacolod, Plus 2014. Currently, he is employed as third engineer on an international vessel of a German company named NSB. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in welcoming our guest speaker, Mr. Jose Marie Camposilao. to the graduates and to the parents of the graduates of the school year batch 2020-2021. A big salute to you all. And to the faculty and staff of Linor de la Rama Elementary School, I would like to give you thanks for giving me the honor to become the guest speaker and for giving me the opportunity to share my experiences and to encourage the graduates to uh, reach for your dream and um, who they want to be in the future. First, I would like to introduce myself. Ako nga po pala si Jose Marie Camposilao, 28 years old, currently employed as a marine engineer on a international seagoing vessel. In short, I am a seaman. And to give you an idea, uh, I am also a graduate of this institution, March 2004-2005. And 
During that time, I am a class valedictorian. I took my high school in Ramon Torres National High School, batch 2008-2009, and I took Bachelor of Science in Marine Engineering at John Bilaxon Colleges Foundation, Bacolod, batch 2013. I am a son of Mr. Jose Gampusilao, a hard-working construction worker. Oo, panday si Papa. And also, my mother is a responsible housewife, Marilyn Gampusilao. Yes, uh, uh, like some of you, um, wala kami din swerte sa may manggaranon. In short, bigado din kami. Hindi kami amo na kamanggaranon to afford my college. So, I became a working student during my college years. And uh, it was hard for me, of course, na ng ako ng mga handog but then I have this uh, I have this dream in my heart na gusto ko git sa uli ma, mabalusan ang sakripisyo kag mga mga hinbulig nila ni mama ni papa sa akin so I did my best and it was really worth it and for my experience uh, dua na bigka bagay ang pwede gud maka-apekto sa dako sa pagkuha sang handom sang isa estudyante. Number one is ang willingness niya nga uh, atubangon ang tanan niya challenges na maabot siya kabuhi para lang malabot niya handom. And number two is ang suporta sang iyang pamilya. So, these two factors are very important sa pagkuha sang handom. So, kung wala niya ang isa, uh, it will be it will be difficult, but then, as long as you have the courage to face the challenges, you can still reach for your dreams. I have learned that because uh, in my experience, uh, my family, uh, because of course, uh, ako nga amay panday, so hindi amo na ka uh, stable ang income, hindi amo na ka as sweldo, but then uh, I was able to finish my studies. With their support, of course, not only financial, but because of uh, uh, moral support from my father and mother. Uh, every day, uh, we encourage kami nila nga hindi magpuntat sa police kwila, hindi magpuntat sa paghandom, hindi magpuntat sa pagkuha sa mga mga handom sa buwi. And for that, I am very much thankful for my parents and for their efforts and for their support sa amon, sa mga mag -upad. And also, I would like to encourage the graduates nga to do the same. I hope na kamo, as student, uh, you will be uh, consistent sa pagdapot sa nila sa inyo mga handong. I hope that you will be consistent sa pagiging uh, courageous uh, pagkuha sa inyo mga handong. As well as sa uh, mga parents, uh, you sir. Madam, I hope nga Tani, hindi ka mo makapoy sa pagsuporta sa inyo nga mga bata sa pagkuha sa ilang mga handong sa ilang pag-eskwila. I hope nga Tani, uh, willing din ka mo nga mag-support sa ila ano man ang pwede nga matabok or atubangon nyo. I hope nga Tani, ara ka mo sa likod sa inyo mga bata. Whatever it is, ay dakuit ka mo nga factor sa paglamot sa handong sa inyo mga bata. This day was very special because, of course, it is the start of a new journey. Nakuha niyo ang mga graduates sa elementary, which is also a big challenge sa inyo. But then, I want you to become resilient. Gusto ko bitka mo rin mabakot sa pag-atubang sa inyong mga challenges because it is still a long way to go reach for your dream. So, I want you to become uh, courageous and resilient in facing your dreams and do whatever it takes to reach for that. As uh, what uh, my good captain said uh, to me, uh, he said that uh, if you have a dream, don't let anyone or anything deem it. Reach for it. Work for it and pray for it. Sky is the limit. So it means nga, uh, kung may handong ka sa kabuhi mo, 
di umpaga pabayaan nga may ara sa bagay nga or tao nga makatago sa ini. Don't let your dream be a dream only, but work for it, reach for it, and pray for it. Wala sa limit. Sky is the limit. So, of course, you have to work for it and pray for it first. Uh, I'd also like to uh, give you this uh, quotation uh, that I remembered. Uh, also, one of my favorite uh, uh, quotation is, uh, What you are now is a grief from God, and what you will become is your gift to God. So, remember that always. Ha? Kung ano ka subong, gift na si Musang Ginoo. At kung ano ang mangin ikaw in the future, that will be your gift to Him. Okay? So, hindi ko na pag-ipadugayon pa. Uh, pasensya na kung medyo uh, uh, inconsistent ang video uh, on the spot ni. So, uh, I didn't have much that uh, preparation. And I don't want to prepare much because Though hindi ko be anad, this is my first time to make a speech no, online. Of course, this is the first time that I uh, uh, mahatag ko speech sa public. No, not first time. Actually, second time. Uh, the first time I have my uh, public uh, address is uh, during my valedictory speech in elementary. So, that was 16 years ago. And now, I am uh, giving my... Uh, Uh, guest speaker address, guest speaker pitch through through uh, online or recorded video. So, uh, pasensya na ako kung medyo medyo ududutod or medyo inconsistent na ako ng video. But then, uh, to the faculty and staff of Linar de la Rama Elementary School, uh, thank you for having me as your guest speaker and also to the graduates and to the parents of the graduates again, congratulations. I hope that uh, someday uh, I'm going to see you progressing, reaching for your dreams, and I hope that someday you will become also successful. And of course, uh, do not uh, forget to pray and uh, to trust in God. Amo na ginawa ko na hambal sa inyo. Again, graduates of batch 2020-2021, I salute to you all. Congratulations, and to the parents also, congratulations. That would be all. Thank you. Without further ado, let's move to the conferment of honors by our school head, Ma'am Lourdes G. Ubas. Mrs. Sara M. Ibarra and Mrs. Lida L. Spendi certified the correctness of the ranking of honors based on ticket order number 18, series 2021. I, Lourdes G. Ubas, head teacher 3 of the Noir de la Rama Elementary School, verified the ranking and found it correct. I, therefore, have the honor to confer the following graduates with Academic Excellence Award with honors in alphabetical order Cetera Sophia Grace B Gopitillo Razel and M Lapino Dokdane M Mones Richelmain P Congratulations! And now, we proceed to the awarding of medals to our outstanding pupils with their parents. Sitera Sophia Grace B. With honors. With her parent, Maria Belenda B. Sitera. Lapinot Duke Day M with honors. With his parent, Cheska M. Lapinot.
Gopiteo, Rudzel Ann, M. With honors. With her parent, Cecil M. Gopiteo. Mones, Rachel May, P. With honors. With her parent, Giselle Mones. Congratulations to our outstanding pupils. To give his farewell speech, let's hear from Dukdane M. Lapinon with honors. Our school superintendent, Sir Alan Diak, our PSDS District 2A, Mama Rica Beverly Gamilia, our school head, Ma'am Lourdes G. Ubas, our guest speaker, Mr. Jose Marigam Pusilao, teachers, guests, parents, and my fellow graduates, good morning. It is an honor to rep represent each and every one of you this morning. Yes, we are about to say goodbye to our dear alma mater, you know, Karama Elementary School, without seeing each other, without telling each other to bid our goodbyes because of this pandemic. I know it was hard to adjust and learn at the same time. It was difficult not to hear our teachers teaching us the things we need to learn. And classmates, we do not understand our lessons well. But here we are having our first virtual graduation and together we graduate. Kyle Martin once said in his graduation speech and I quote, Nothing is more important than your healthy relationship, not your goals, not your successes. Here's why. Healthy relationship is where you get influence, impact, and change people's lives. In answering our modules, did you ever experience asking your parents, guardians, or siblings to teach you things you're unfamiliar to you? Have you been nagged because you were too lazy to answer them? Have you tried using Google just to answer the questions you're unfamiliar to? And also, do you have sleepless nights because Miss Shella told you deadline is coming? Yes, we were not alone, but despite of all of it, this pandemic has given us one lesson in life, and that is to give value to our relationship. Yes, your life will not be meaningful without healthy relationship. Relationship to your family, siblings, friends, teachers, classmates, and especially to God. COVID-19 may hit us so hard, we lose lives, our parents' job, but we have our family on our side. As we enter our high school life without seeing each other, without having the chance to mingle with our teachers and schoolmates, we don't want to sigh, but we wanted to move forward to face whatever mountain we need to climb to achieve our goals in life. It would not be easy, but let us not give up. Living your life as, work, as you are climbing a mountain, an occasional glance to the summit. Uh, keep that goal in mind, keep reaching on it. Uh, our, I hope our dreams will take us to the corners of our smile, to the highest of our hopes, to the windows of opportunity, and our uh, places our hearts has never known. Salamat mo mga kagpapa, kaywaan nyo kung ginpabayan, kagpadayan ka mga nagapangabulay para sa akon. Himoon ko pagid ang akon nga best para sa inyo. Kag sa akon nga mga classmates, wa ay mataka kita ay, pero salamat sa friendship nga may arak. Kita halin sa kinder at sa yunor. Kabay pa nga makikita, makita ay pataliwat. Kung sa amon nga teachers, kag school head, salamat sa inyo nga, nga effort para makalearn kami miski sa subong nga panahon. Sa amon advisor, salamat Michelle kay para ara ka para i-guide kami kag hindi para magbulay para hindi ka mabudlayan sa amon nga modular nga pag-eskwela. Hindi og ginawon pagkalipat kalipatan. Madamo gid nga salamat. We don't know when will this pandemic come to an end, but I assure you, if we have healthy relationship towards everyone, we will and we can achieve our goals in life. Congratulations to all of us. To our graduates, please all stand for your class pledge.
to be presented by Rutzel Ann M. Gupiteo with honors. Class Pledge. We, the members of Class 2021, thoroughly acknowledge the long and patient care and guidance which our alma mater's pet removed being us. And now in the debt of gratitude, we all hear the herbal pledge as follows. That we shall adhere to our moral and ethical principles so to us that we will direct our efforts towards the development of good moral characters, personal discipline, civic conscience, vocational efficiency, that we will perform our duties for the benefit of, me, of the nation in general, that we shall forever uphold the good name of our dear alma mater, Sir Once again, I would like to congratulate all of you graduates of Batch 2020 2021. And now, we sing together and watch your unforgettable memories while staying in the Nordi Rama Elementary School in this graduation song entitled The Climb by Miley Cyrus.
This pandemic has affected all of us, but despite of it all, all of us conquered and win the fight against COVID-19. After all, education never stops and it will continue no matter what hindrances we might face. Now, let us witness as the graduates give their appreciation to our stakeholders, school head, teachers, and parents as they, hand in hand, give their full performance dedicated to each one of you in their thank you song entitled Fight Song by Rachel Plattern. May we listen to our school head, Ma'am Lourdes G. Ubas. A pleasant afternoon to each and everyone. For the school announcement, releasing of cards and diploma will be released on the following scheduled dates by your respective 
grade advisors starting July 26, 2021 for kindergarten and grade 1. July 27, 2021, grade 2 and grade 3. July 28, 2021, for grade 4. July 29, 2021, grade 5. And July 30, 2021, for grade 6. For kindergarten requirements for enrollment, read the following documents. Birth certificate, or you can inquire our kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Rhea Hichanova, through text messages, phone call, and messenger. Any update will be posted on the Noy de la Rama Elementary School FB page regarding the incoming activities for the opening of class for school year 2021-2022. To all the parents, teachers, kindergarten computers, graduates, Congratulations, thank you, and God bless. A million thanks to the parents, donors, and the people who made a part in turning out this affair a tremendous one. More power and God's peace. Eldress Batch 2021 graduates, congratulations! Eldress Teaching Force Headed by Lourdes G. Ubas Rhea Hechenova, Kindergarten Teacher Maria Fatima Carmona, Grade 1 Advisor Eda Espende, Grade 2 Sampaguita Advisor Rogini Del Sol, Grade 2 Jasmine Advisor Elsa Podilia, Grade 3 Advisor Maria Arlene Sigura, Grade 4 Advisor Febby Masmila, Grade 5 Advisor Shalome Pisales, Grade 6 Advisor Gilbert Paulo Pagapa, Special Subject Teacher Sara Guevara, Special Subject Teacher 